Sarah Picasso. L'imaginaire d'abord. Vous n'imaginez pas tout ce que Citroën peut faire pour vous. It's nice to see you too, Osimo. I am happy to be here with you today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here in Washington, D.C. The all-new Osimo received a full model change, equipped with high response control system and applied mechanisms that are all newly designed. Engineering innovations regarding flexibility and balance control have increased Osimo's agility, both in the upper and lower body. Stability control that was first developed as a key part of making Osimo walk autonomously has seen continuous innovation and has taken another big step forward with this new model. Osimo, are you ready to climb the stairs? I am ready. Okay, go for it. Some of you have likely seen Osimo climb the stairs on its website, but the latest version of the robot can ascend and descend much more smoothly without even having to stop at the base of the stairs. Great job, Osimo. Well done. And of course, it takes even more balance and precision to make it back down, continuously adjusting itself as necessary all the way down. Very impressive, Osimo. Now, we will see more of the lower body improvements in just a few minutes. But first, we would like to demonstrate some vital new technology in Osimo's manual dexterity. To begin with, significant changes have been made to the technology in Osimo's hands. With the new premium Osimo version 3, in order to operate five fingers independently, the degrees of freedom at the hands have been increased from 2 to 13 for each hand, resulting in 57 for the whole body, which is a big increase over the 34 degrees of freedom in the previous version. Before, Osimo could walk, but would then need to stop briefly before starting to run. Osimo can now move seamlessly from walking to running and can run at two different speeds, as we will see today. Innovations in mobility took place over many editions of Osimo, and Honda engineers conducted extensive studies of the human walking motion to determine the best way for Osimo to walk. And eventually, in a groundbreaking innovation, Osimo was able to run. But today, what Osimo does best is walking and navigating our world with ease. In fact, due to continued innovation and advancements, Osimo can even run. But more about that later. Osimo can sidestep continuously. <laughs> on a curve or in a straight line which could be very useful in getting through tight spaces in a home environment. Osimo can move forward. And backward as well. Constantly adjusting its center of gravity with every step it takes, just like humans. This little millipede-like robot is made of plastic and powered by air. It's a simple design, but the surprising thing about it is how it was made. This robot was printed using a new kind of 3D printer. One that can print objects using multiple different materials with a speed and level of detail that was previously impossible. Conventional 3D printers usually build up objects in one material, bit by bit. But this printer can deposit two, 
four, or even eight different materials from one nozzle. And it can do it at high resolution. Each of these tiny 3D pixels is about the width of a human hair. To print complex patterns in a short space of time, the nozzles have to be able to switch quickly between materials. Very quickly. And it doesn't end there. The new design can print with multiple nozzles at the same time. For some projects, this makes printing much faster, although at the moment every nozzle has to be printing the same thing. To demonstrate the benefits of combining different materials, researchers made this origami sheet, which has flexible folding edges in between rigid areas. The same principle applies to this beaker-carrying soft robot. The tubes create a vacuum that crumples the soft parts of the legs, allowing them to bend and walk. The printer can also deposit a wide variety of materials. Wax, silicon and gelatin inks were all used. And the researchers hope this technology could be used to print things like flexible electronics, rechargeable batteries and even materials containing human cells. For now though, if you need a conical flask delivered, you know who to call. What are the top six most amazing ways 3D printing is now used in practice? Number six, using it in manufacturing. It is now completely reshaping the way we can manufacture goods. Instead of taking material away, we can add material on. Using what we call additive manufacturing, so we can create completely new components that traditionally we couldn't have created. This is now used in Formula One to fast track spare parts for the machinery. We can print entire car bodies using 3D printing. And this is for me the number six use case manufacturing. It is transforming how we prototype and produce goods. Number five, is edible creations. We can now print edible material. One of the best examples is chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? I've recently worked with a chocolate manufacturer and they now are building this 3D capability to produce chocolates in any type of shape or form. We be it humans, faces, castles, cars, and this is going to get bigger. We can now print marzipan, we can even print hamburger, hamburger patties. Number four is 3D printing musical instruments. We can now produce violins, flutes, keyboards. Recently, there was a first concert held in Lund in Sweden where a band performed on completely 3D printed components, keyboards, drums, and two guitars. So printing musical instruments, another really key use case. Number three is 3D printing dresses. We've now seen this a number of times that we have 3D printed dresses that look amazing. Dresses we couldn't design any other way than 3D printing and I believe this is going to get bigger. We've seen this Nike uh, 3D printing trainers but 3D printing dresses is the next uh, step forward. Number two is 3D printing entire houses. We can now 3D print cement. And a great example is that within 24 hours, a house was 3D printed, a 400 square feet house in the suburbs of Moscow in just 24 hours. This is another amazing use case where we can create completely new shapes using 3D printing. And the most amazing use case of 3D printing is printing body parts. We can now print bone structures for cosmetic surgery that can be implanted into the human body. And even more amazing, we can now 3D print organ parts. Um, there was an amazing study done by Northwestern University in Chicago. Their medical school uh, 3D printed ovaries of mice and 
these mice were able to give birth to healthy pubs. We can now 3D print heart tissue, liver tissue. This is going to transform med medicine and the future of mankind. So hopefully these were interesting. They are my top six use cases of 3D printing today. Police station, 1984. You were there. Same model. These were taken today. 
You have to let me see my son. He's in great danger. New mission. Once, he was programmed to destroy the future. You don't know what it's like to try to kill one of these things. Now, his mission... Get down! ...is to protect it. Come with me if you want to live. You're really real. His loyalty is to a child. Who sent you? You did. 35 years from now. And his enemy... He's a Terminator like you, right? Not like me. ...is the deadliest machine ever built. Can it be destroyed? Unknown. This time, there are two. Terminator 2. You just can't go around killing people. Why? If you thought you had seen it all... Look again. Stay down! Go! Now! We gotta stick together! Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. This time, he's back. For good. Trust me.